Final Cut Pro is one of my favorite pieces of software, but to anyone who uses it, you know it's missing one key feature. Okay, let's be honest, it's missing quite a few, but one that I'm really passionate about lately. And I'm unbelievably stoked because FX Factory just released a new plugin that solves this problem. I'm giddy, I'm stoked, I'm excited. I'm excited. I wish I had my original reaction on camera because I don't know, being the nerd I am, it almost brought me to tears. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. I wanna show you guys how to use this plugin and why it's just so fantastic. It just feels like this video is too good to be true. I can't believe I get to make this video. Ugh, I'm so excited. This is a plugin from FX Factory called Easy Ease. And really in a nutshell, it's just a transform plugin that allows you to set keyframes on posi position, scale, and rotation. And then it has a nice little drop down that lets you pick how the easing curve would look between these, which again is something you can do in Motion. It's something you can do in DaVinci Resolve. Um, I had a previous plugin called Add Motion that I really liked that also did something similar, but I think for just about most of all of my use cases, this is going to be so much better. So we're screen recording. We have a blank Final Cut project opened up here. And I want to just throw some stuff down here uh, to show you guys what we can do here. So let's just do a nice low opacity gritty grid uh, as our background. And then again, you're going to see really quickly. The reason I love this so much is because I can do dorky daddy animations with a lot a lot better. There's just features here that we are getting that make this so good. So let's bring down a couple of our favorite dorky dads and let's see what we can do here. So but really quick before we look at that, let's explain the problem. If you're new to Final Cut or new to editing, you're probably kind of confused and saying, Jake, I kind of maybe know what keyframes are or maybe I don't. Keyframes are these little diamonds over here in Final Cut Pro. So say I set a keyframe on the position for this dorky dad guy here. Uh, we move our playhead down the line. We set another keyframe diamond and I move him over to the left. Now when I play this back, he moves from left to right. Now you'll see if it's not obvious but this transform happens in a linear fashion. It's just very much a junk. <laughs> it's hard to like explain it, but there's no easing. In the world of animation, we call this a linear movement. And generally speaking for just about any kind of animation that you want to have style or look natural, you need some kind of easing curve. You can call it easing, it's easing curve because of there's there, there's all these fancy tools and all these other applications that have curves to, you know, do this mathematically, whatever. The point is, is that with this plugin, we can now do that and we don't have to touch any of the curves and it's really awesome and it makes it look so much more professional without having to do you know, a ton of rigmarole. So we showed the linear example. Let's drop Easy Ease on this dorky dad clip. Let's go to the start. And within Easy Ease, you can see here, we've got our position, our rotation, and our scale. If I set a keyframe here, and then we go, I don't know, a little bit to the right in our timeline, um, I could set another keyframe or I can just change it and it will automatically set another keyframe. And you can see already we're set to ease out on the animation. So it's going to start linear and then ease as it gets to the end of the next keyframe. Um, what I think will look the best to show an example is ease in and out, which will then ease the beginning of the movement and the end of the movement, which looks like this. It's very subtle, but again, you know, let's also add a little bit of rotation here to add a little bit more style, because we can. 
this is just so good. This is so good. This is everything I've ever wanted. Like, I just, I just am playing this back and I'm just like, I cannot believe that this is possible in Final Cut Pro. This is amazing. Um, I can do that and then I can set some more keyframes here. Go here and let's increase the scale and the position here and do more rotation. I mean, look at this. I'm just, I'm able to do all kinds of keyframe madness that looks really good that you couldn't do in Final Cut before. I think sort of my favorite option is the back ease in out, which kind of does a little bit of like a bump overshoot. Um, it's not a perfect overshoot. My boy Spencer makes some better overshoot plugins for DaVinci Resolve with some of his motion transitions, but this does look really nice. I mean, yeah, I, I, I mean, come on. Come on, that looks so good, that's so fun, that's so on brand for like the dorky dad brand on just having these really fun little guys that can move around like this. I mean, this is amazing. One thing I do wanna call out that I love so much about this plugin is that I do not need to chop up the PNG. Now this section is super nerdy for like my true Final Cut nerds who have been following the channel for a while. You guys can skip this part if you want to get to the last example, but the reason I really like this is because traditionally my previous favorite animation tool for Final Cut was Add Motion, which is also by FX Factory. Um, buying both is never a bad idea, but it only could do A to B and no C, D, E, or F, whereas this new one can do an infinite number of keyframes as long, you know, as long as the clip is, this could not, this could only do two different states or positions. So if you wanted to do like this left to right, which looks really nice, but then another left to right, you had to reconfigure one of them, you know, B to A, whatever to do this dude, do, okay, that was way too much. So you had to make these cuts in order to do what I just did completely in keyframes on the first PNG without having to make cuts. Jake, why do you give a crap about this, you might ask? Well, as you guys know, I like to add a little bit of extra spice to my animations and in the form of another plugin that is completely free uh, by one of our all-time favorite Final Cut creators, Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro. He has a truly handheld plugin that does a nice reciprocating movement. So you can add just like a little bit more life, turn the smoothness up to your animations and your characters by having them sort of shake around, which looks really natural. And the problem is, is that when I used to use this with add motion, you get a little bit of a stutter typically. Sometimes you get lucky depending on what you're doing here, but you usually get just a little bit of a stutter every time you cut the clip. So you gotta do all your animations, make a compound clip, there's ways to get around it, but it's just kind of a pain in the ass. Whereas on this, I can have his handheld on one of the PNGs, I can keyframe that PNG, I can make it longer if I want, and then I can come down here and add even more keyframes depending on what I wanna do and just allows you to be so flexible. His shake is going the whole time. I mean, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. Plus, personally, just having one PNG element that's not chopped up or compound clipped or whatever with these effects on it, it's just easier for my brain, keeps my organization a little bit tighter in my edits. I'm really, really stoked on how this plugin works. I, I love it. Okay, kind of the third point, I think this is sort of the third point that I also wanted to make with this plugin that makes it so much better, is because you're using real keyframes in Final Cut, you can right click on the PNG and go to show video animation or the shortcut is Control V. So click that, hit Control V. And what this does is now I can actually see where my keyframes happen. And the beauty of Final Cut is that it's actually really easy to move these keyframes. So depending on, you know, the timing of something or if it's not working well, I've got nice visual indicators in my timeline to adjust. But again, 
Historically speaking, before this plugin, you could do all of this. This was really cool, really nice, a great user interface, but there was no way to, to ease it and have it look nice. Well, now we get the best of both worlds because we're using Easy Ease. We get those nice curves in the background within all those drop-down selections, and then I can get the timing exactly right on these you know, keyframes and man, it's just like, like this one here. It's like, okay, let's make this fast and go, zhunk, 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 you know, like that's just, that just makes it so easy to retime your edits. If you're doing lots of graphics and PNG related stuff. I mean, I just, I don't know of a faster way to make YouTube style graphics than using these tools within Final Cut. Um, you are lacking some of the precision that you get from DaVinci Resolve. And again, for those of you who don't know, I use DaVinci Resolve and Final Cut hand in hand. I use them on the same projects. I use them for different projects. I just use both of them for fun. Guilty as charged. I'm a big fat freaking nerd who just loves video editing. And I love both of these softwares and make videos about them. Yes, what you can do in Fusion and DaVinci Resolve is more powerful, has more control and fine tune. It's got that last little one or two percent that you're not getting here. But for anything that I make for YouTube, for most anything graphically that I make for clients and for just about everything, you don't need that last little one percent. This plugin is going to make me make animation type stuff in Final Cut and I'm going to be so much more pleased with the result. I mean, I'm just, I'm just like get going on a rant here because I'm so excited, but I seriously, am, I just cannot believe that this plugin exists. And even if Final Cut were to implement like a better version of this, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'd be curious to see what that looked like. So all that to say, guys, I love this new plugin. Um, this video is not sponsored, by the way. I spent the 50 bucks to buy this thing when I got the email from FX Factory because I've bought other stuff from them in the past. I have been sponsored with other videos in the past, but this one was not sponsored. This is completely unbiased. This is Dorky Dad Jake wanting to give you my honest, honest opinions on just how incredible I think this plugin is. I am stoked. I'm stoked beyond belief. I'm so glad it exists, and you guys should definitely go pick it up if you're editing in Final Cut. Whew, okay. My voice is getting tired, guys. We got to call it there. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. You know, do all the things. Um, if you really want to support the channel, consider becoming a member. Channel members are the best, and they get exclusive videos that the rest of everyone doesn't get. Uh, mostly tutorial type stuff, nitty gritty, you know nerdiest of the nerds we love our dorky daddy members but with that i'm gonna let you guys go because i want to go edit this video so you can watch it so <laughs> catch you in the next one later guys